పిల్ల జల్లా ఇంటి కాడ ఎట్లా ఉండ్రో నా ముసలి తల్లి ఏమి పెట్టి సాధుతుందో పూట పూట చేసుకొని బతికటోళ్ళం పూట గడవ ఇంత దూరం వచ్చిన మై సాట్స్ గో టు ద కిత్ అండ్ కిన్ బ్యాక్ హోమ్ వాట్ ఇస్ మై ఏజ్ ఇట్ మదర్ టు ఈట్ a life on the fringes surviving from hand to mouth walking miles to fill the bellies that crave food in a country that is big and lives are short affected by the corona virus pandemic feeling shred to bits and pieces what is it all about the odd life and all the odds of life Isn't this virus worse than a life lived in abject misery? Can influence and other factors prove stronger than our family bonds? Be back home. Together we shall survive just with what we have. Our little children with fluttering eyes searching for food. My sweet wife in endless grief. I do not care for buses and vehicles. Shall cross the borders on foot. My thoughts go to the kith and kin back home. To cross the borders on my bare feet. When the pandemic struck an unsuspecting world, and humanity faced one of its more severe crises ever, with borders closed, vehicles on the roads, police and the army patrolling the streets industries and businesses shut medical services overwhelmed the section that was worst affected was that of the migrant workers those who had left their far away homes and villages in search of jobs and livelihoods in the cities in the industrialized zones in the homes of the affluent they formed an anonymous code of masons carpenters painters machine and crane operators agricultural workers house helps in their millions easily distinguishable from the locals by their dress and language crowding the central crossroads of the urban centers waiting to be offered a job and a chance to earn a living the pandemic hit them hard they lost their daily earnings it left their purses empty and they were traumatized with the haunting thoughts of their kith and kin back home and that set off in the process a reverse migration with their paltry belongings balanced on their heads their wives and children in tow they crowded the railway and bus stations in their thousands literally laying a siege and when the trains and transport shut down they moved out on foot resolved to be back home with their own anxiously awaiting news of them hundreds and even thousands of kilometers away and that despite the uncertain future that stared them in the face as always the children had to pay a very high price they found themselves shut out of school with many among them also deprived of the one meal a day they relied on at school children with their education disrupted are at a loss about their future prospects especially when they do not have the home based technology and the tools required for remote learning in the midst of this dismal scenario of distress which threatened to tear apart the social fabric and seek to bury all hope there also emerged opportunities for fundamental changes and to give a new orientation to human living and acting that of overcoming the tendency to withdraw into oneself by the natural instinct at self preservation and to reach out in genuine fraternal human solidarity to those in need.
There have been several heartwarming examples of individuals, groups and organizations going beyond the boundaries of caste, color, creed or customs and motivated solely by human considerations reaching out a hand to help. The Salesians of the South Asia region were no exception to this outpouring of fraternal expressions of genuine solidarity inspired by a sense of being part of one global human family. They were in fact following in the great traditions set by their illustrious predecessors, Father Francis Sluz in Chennai, Father Aurelius Maschio in Mumbai, and Father Joseph Karenio in Tirupatur, who saw reflected in the poor and the deprived their own brothers and sisters, members of one global human family, children of one God, as intended by the Creator. Has COVID-19 transformed itself from an infection into a global disaster, the Salesians sprang into action. In a true spirit of solidarity, they collaborated with the government, the non-governmental organizations and other like-minded people throughout the region in a variety of relief measures. Supply of food to affected people, transport of essential goods, provision of facilities, legal and civil support, educational assistance to children, delivery of medical aid, sanitizers and masks, and spreading awareness. Some of the Salesian institutions also served as COVID treatment centers. The profoundly concerned migrant desks across the country supported the affected migrant workers with essential services and in their efforts to return to their distant homes. Such solidarity with concrete expressions of fraternal concern and unforgettable instances of generosity has also kindled the hope that they will continue to define our approach and activities in the years of reconstructing a much ravaged world. On 17th April 2020, Pope Francis, referring to an Easter marred by coronavirus, spoke of humanity resurrected to a civilization of love, injected with the necessary antibodies of justice, charity, and solidarity. Further, in his programmatic encyclical, Fratelli Tutti, pointing to the Earth's truth being a common human home, the Pope emphasized the need for fraternity and social friendship. Crisis, personal, national or global, provide opportunities to rediscover, to reinvent and to reorient oneself. And the global pandemic is yet another such opportunity for the world to prove yet again its resilience and ability to recreate itself through reflection and sustained efforts into a truly caring global family where the pain of one is felt by the others and the problems of one become those of the others, with the words of Saint Paul echoing in our ears. If one part suffers, every part suffers with it. If one part is honored, every part rejoices with it. The various humanitarian efforts of Don Bosco institutions around the world are inspired by a genuine sense of human solidarity. This is in keeping with the general ethos of the South Asia region as seen in the Maha Upanishadi concept of Vasidaiva Kudumbagam, the world is one family, or the famous Tamil concept of Yadam Ure, Yavarum Kerlir. To us, all towns are our own and everyone 
our kin. Director Major of the Salesians, Reverend Father Angel Fernandez Sartime affirms our message underlines and reiterates that faced with this harsh and painful reality, with its dire consequences, we continue to express the certainty of being moved by hope, because God in His Spirit continues to make all things new. Despite the pain, the loss and the uncertainty, the COVID-19 pandemic offers an opportunity for all people of goodwill to join in God's design to recreate the world in the image of that one Father who wants all his children to break down the walls of division, eschew violence and build that one large family of his children characterized by fraternal love and solidarity.